Okay, we're at the business end of the telescope now. Um, as you can see, the focuser. Uh, now this focuser looks maybe a little bit different uh, at this part than, than yours does. Uh, as we go through these tutorials, I'll show you a couple of little sort of things that I've picked up, uh, a few tips and tricks and such like. Uh, this one is what they call an Orion Precision Centering Adapter. And there you go, what it does is it replaces the two inch to one and a quarter inch adapter that you would normally have in your focuser and you just pop your, your 1.25 eyepiece in there and tighten up on it and it, it, it's, it, it tensions up, tightens up on your eyepiece. Uh, the reason for it being that, well personally I don't like the, the method of normal eyepiece fixing which is by the two screws. Um, firstly I think that with the price of some eyepieces and that you want to keep them in, in looking really nice. Um, and the, the screws do tend to put marks in, in eyepieces but as well as that if you think about it you've got a one and a quarter inch eyepiece in a holder sitting like this with two screws going in at different directions and no matter how careful you are you are going to get this sort of movement you're going to knock it off centre it doesn't matter by how, much, how slight it is it's still going to knock it off centre it's just something that I don't like and for the price, price of what £30 um, for a self centre it's well worth having. Um, just a, a little recommendation there. Um, but like I said, I, I definitely rate it. Uh, now we're going to have a look at the inside of the scope, you, which you won't be able to see very well because it's flocked this particular tube. Uh, if ever you do fancy having a go at flocking your tube, I highly recommend it. It does make a difference to your views. Um, now the focus, back to the focuser again. Uh, in another tutorial we've got about centering your focuser because if you remember that the collimation goes from focuser to secondary to primary everything's related to try and get that cone of light exactly how you want it going basically straight up towards your eye um, now your focuser does have some collimation bolts on it your focuser might be different than this some don't some do if not then you can shim them with uh, with washers uh, just pull the focuser off, put, put a washer or two underneath and shim it. Uh, but usually you've got some collimation bolts in the focuser. Now inside this tube, I've, I've centred this focuser in the past. Uh, you won't be able to see, but I've actually got in there a donut. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, just there. There's a, it's a blue uh, ring binder reinforcer. Uh, I don't know if that will start showing it up or not. Uh, but basically then... What you can do is you can take a laser collimator, uh, which I'll just talk about a little bit. This is an Antares laser collimator, and it's cheap, it, 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 but it does the job. And the reason why it does the job is because the laser itself, this collimator, is collimatable. Um, if, if that laser inside there is, is off centre anywhere, you can set up and you can collimate it. You've got three collimation screws in the actual collimator which some of the cheaper ones don't um, so it's just a little recommendation that the Antares one I personally don't hold with the Hortex uh, the reason being that if I've got a precision self centre in, in my focuser and I've got that then I've got a Hortex basically uh, but what I'll do is I'll cover something a little bit later um, about lasers lying and they do lie um, I keep threatening that I'm going to make a video called Lasers Lie and I can prove it and I'm going to cover that in, in this sort of this collimation tutorial. But as I say we've got the donut in the bottom there which means that I can take a laser collimator and put it into the scope and it should point the dot into the middle of the donut which it is doing. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple more tricks uh, when I fit the spider in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a break for a second and I'm going to fit the spider in but not the mirror, um, just the spider, the veins. And we're going to go through aligning those and setting those up properly and I'll show you another little trick as we get to that part. So catch that in the next video.